Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian toy reviewer and collector. Himself, Eddie Hill. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. As you can see, it's review time. <laughs> That's all there is to say for the intro, and today we will be reviewing something from Jack Specific, and we have Sonic the Hedgehog playset. But before we look at the playset itself, we're going to look at the packaging. Really nice packaging product shot, nice artwork of Sonic the Hedgehog. You're probably wondering... Why would I get this playset? Well, I never owned any Sonic stuff in my life, so this is a real treat for all you Sega fans who like Sonic. And that's the front of the box. Let's look at the back. And here we got the other figures in the line. We got Knuckles, Tails, and you can put the rings about anywhere. You get Metal Sonic. Cream, Tails, Knuckles, another Sonic, another Tails figure, and Eggman, and Shadow the Hedgehog. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Well, now we're going to mess around with this playset. He can do the spring and be like, go up here and then go fast and grab some rings. He's got posts where you can put him about anywhere on the playset. You can put him here, or you can put him here. That's pretty neat, all these posts around. You can put him here. And we're also going to be reviewing the Clone Wars Hellfire Droid for Star Wars fans. Of, who are the biggest fan of Star Wars as I am. But to take a close look at this figure, for a small-scale figure, he's really well-painted. Really well-sculpted. I love it. And he looks just like he jumped out of the video game. And now we're going to do comparison with the only other Sonic figure I have. <laughs> well, it's a plushie than a figure. They look good together. Now we're going to set Sonic up on the loop-de-loop -loop and connect the rings and have Sonic go chasing some rings. So we're going to disconnect one ring, plug it in there. It can look like he's going to get the rings going around the loop-de-loop, -loop, which is a nice gimmick. If I do say so myself, there's two. Because this is a gimmick toy, I have a lot of fun with this item. If I can get... Come on, ring. Plug in. You can plug in. And we got it. Now we're going to show it off the gimmick of this display piece toy. And now he can run fast and get the ring. Ain't that awesome. Best gimmick playset. I have ever picked up. Ever. There is so much to love about this. And from something from Sega, made by Jack Specific, is awesome. Sure, he doesn't have bend at the knee or elbows, but the paint on this set is great. And that's all there is to say for Sonic. Now we're going to look at the... Star Wars The Clone Wars, Hellfire Droid. Yes, he is the remote control Hellfire Droid from Star Wars The Clone Wars. I got him used at a thrift store, and he is missing the a few missiles and the controller. But it's a used figure, and given I like Hellfire Droids from Star Wars... Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Why wouldn't I pick this up? It was at the thrift store for a good price. And that's what matters to me. 
Plus you get the gun moving at the bottom pretty good. Sure he's old, an old thing, but given I like Star Wars. I'm a huge fan, so that's why I picked it up. Would I recommend you pick up the Sonic the Hedgehog playset and this? If you can find the Hellfire droid for a good price, pick him up. You won't regret it. And he's really well detailed. That's what I will say about this figure. And would I recommend the Sega set to any Sonic fans? The Sega Jack Pacific set. Sorry about to correct myself. Sega Jack Pacific. Pick it up if you're a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, like I am. You won't regret it. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.